So this is an image of a 30 Ryzen 3950 X processor and what's interesting about it guys is that it shows what a Ryzen processor looks like underneath if you take off the heat spreader. Now as we can see we got three ships here in total and AMD essentially calls this the shiplet design. Now these two over here are called CCDs and this one over here is called the IO die. And for some time we didn't know if Zen 3 would look similar or use another design as Zen 2 but it turns out Zen 3 will look identical to Zen 2. But there is a catch guys, it turns out AMD have done some tremendous updates on the inside of these CCDs that will ultimately make upcoming Ryzen much much faster in games stand against Thardian Ryzen. And in today's video we're gonna look at everything you need to know about AMD's upcoming Zen 3 based Ryzen 5000 desktop processors coming to the PC gaming space in just a few weeks time as I'm making this video. So today's video we're gonna cover release date, pricing, specifications and performance. And if you're new to this channel, hey my name is Robin and I mostly cover PC builds and in case you're interested in building a new gaming PC based on Nvidia Ampere or Big Navi or perhaps upcoming Ryzen, make sure to subscribe to never miss my next upcoming PC build. Now the info I'm about to give you guys isn't 100% confirmed yet so we should all treat this with a grain of salt but I have been hearing rumors that AMD might skip 4000 as a name and instead jump to 5000 and from what I've been hearing this has to do with AMD trying to make things less confusing. There has been quite a lot of misunderstanding where Zen 2 on desktop is referred to 30 and Ryzen while Zen 2 on mobile is called 40 and Ryzen. Yeah, it creates a lot of confusion. Now, AMD essentially want to put everything underneath the same name and if you think about it, it makes more sense. But yeah, with that said, let's jump back to the image we looked at at the beginning of the video because it is here underneath each CCD we find one of the big secrets to Zen 3 performance uplift. So thanks to a recently leaked document from the Twitter user called Cyberpunkat, a document that apparently comes from AMD, we now have a ton of info in regards regards to Zen 3 and we can see that AMD refers to Fifth Ryzen as the 19H model 21H BO family and we can see that in the Zen 3 based Ryzen 5000 AM4 C is designed for in-use high performance desktop platforms and will feature up to two CCDs or core cache complex dies and a single IO die and unlike the previous generation design where each CCD comprised of two CCXs, the Zen 3 is CCD will instead consist of a single CCX which will feature 8 cores that can either run in a single thread mode or a 2 thread mode for up to 16 threads per CCX. A lot of numbers here guys but 16 threads per CCD times 2 means that we could see up to 32 threads configurations which means that Zen 3 will ultimately stay on 16 core as the top skew. Here's the interesting part, now each CCD will comprise up to 32 megabyte of shared L3 cache and for Zen 2 the L3 cache was between two CCXs with each CCX having their own separate uh, 16 megabyte cache but with Zen 3 all cores can share a larger number of L3 cache and this larger cache size guys is said to have a massive impact on the gaming performance. With Zen 3 AMD also introduced a slightly improved scalable data fabric and all these new updates guys will make Zen 3 much faster in games and from what I've been hearing we're looking at at least 10% better IPC and this means that we can expect to see 10% better performance at a given clock speed but it doesn't stop there because Zen 3 is being manufactured on a redefined 7 nanometer process and it's going to be more power efficient too and we do expect to see higher clock speeds as well. Here is a screenshot of the five so-called OPN codes which was discovered by Igor Wolasek. These are said to be five fifth Ryzen B0 stepping CPUs. Now B0 means that there are engineering samples but very late samples. So late in fact that we think that we're actually looking at final clock speeds and core configurations and from the look of each name we can actually figure out final clock speeds. And what's interesting here is that we think with Zen 3 we're gonna see some models taking the jump to 4.9 gigahertz and where some models have a base clock of 4 gigahertz which is enough nice bump in clock speed stand against 30 on Ryzen. As for compatibility upcoming, a desktop Ryzen will work on all existing 4 and 500 series motherboards, although a BIOS update will be needed for all 400
100 series boards. As for release date, AMD is holding a 5th year Ryzen announcement on October 8th, where we're gonna hear a lot more. And honestly, I don't think we're gonna have to wait that long before they'll be available to pick up off the shelves right off the bat. As for pricing, we expect to see a similar price model as current 30 year Ryzen. And in case you're interested to see how these performs in games, I definitely got you covered guys, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss an upcoming episode cause I will definitely cover most of these models. And with that all in mind, what do you think about Zen 3 and 5th on Ryzen for desktop? Which model are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments below.